Okay. All right. So here is how to add songs for your week um, in Planning Center. So what you'll do is you go to your Sunday. So we're going to do May 21st. Let's click on, click on that um, service date. A couple different ways of doing it. You could go in here and click on plus wherever you want to put the song. But probably the easiest way is to go over here to the songs tab and click on it. And you'll notice, oops, click on it. you notice this turns into this, to all the songs. If you hit on people, it'll turn into people that you're trying to, to schedule. Um, but if you go into, into the song tab, um, the first song we're doing is Open Up the Heavens. You can either scroll for it or you can just start typing up Open and search. Then when you hover over it, um, what you want to do is you, you're going to drag this in into the to the set. So you look at, um, the, you know, this tells you, make sure this is the right song, you know, if you think it is. Um, and then pick a key. We're going to pick the key of C and take that, click on it, and hold it and drag it. Notice how it, it becomes something that you can drop into the set wherever you want it. So I'm assuming this is going to be the gathering song. So put it here in this space under gathering song. And you'll notice any song in this set is going to be blue, so it's going to be a little bit different than the other elements. Um, so that's the first song. Next song is Here's My Heart. Here's My Heart. Uh, we're going to also do it, actually, I bet we're going to do it in G. Um, so, so I'll do that same thing. Click on that, drag it down, the first song set. Uh, Nearer, My God to Thee. Near her. Oh look, it's not in here. Okay, so I'll get back to how we'll do that in a second. Um, let's finish putting these songs in though. On You's Day <coughs> is the next one. I'll put that one in. I'll assume it's in G also. Let It Rain. It's done in here. I have to add that song as well. And No Longer Slaves. The last one, and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in. Probably this G as well. And I'll put that as a um, response song. I'm not sure if that's where it's going, but but probably. Okay, so a couple songs to add here. Let's clear that out. Um, uh, if you can do it right from right from. From here, right down here, on it, down here at the bottom, just created a new song. The hymns, it's fine to add a new song like this. Um, other, obviously, I, I want, I, yeah. So let me type this in here. Near, my God, to the. Okay. And one of the ways that I'm that I know that it's a the hymn is that this number over here is probably one of the lower numbers <laughs> and it's the right one it's not like somebody's rearrangement like see how down here um, Lil Mason and Sam Sarah Fuller Flowers Adams that's an interesting name Fuller Flower um, <laughs> hey Fuller Flower sorry okay distracted um, this one has a, another another author in it so it's probably a remake of, you know or, so so I'm, I'm assuming this is probably the right one so I'll click up click on it um, and for me, I like to have this information filled in just because um, I'm curious. So um, now what, what I'll do is uh, I'll title it, I'll, I'll categorize it as a type him. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to actually scoot over and go to a website called hymnary, hymnary.org. And I'm gonna get some information about this. So near, near, er, my God to thee, and that'll tell me. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick this one because it's probably the right one. And then there's. It's usually up here at the top. What's the slides? There we go. Um, so author is Sarah Flower Adams in 1841. And if I want to, and I'm going to leave this open because this this might, depending on song select, it, it might have these lyrics or might not have these lyrics. So I'll go back over to, um, 
to, to, to planning center and I noted that it was 1841 so I'm going to put it it belongs in this category this type just this is just it's interesting to me I kind of want to know how old it is what year was it written that kind of thing um, as far as I can, well, I can go and see I don't know what I don't know what what key signature it's in, so I can go here to see this, and uh, now now I know it's in four four. I don't know what tempo it is, but I can at least put the meter of four four in here. This tempo marking I normally want to put that, but I won't. And I'm not filling out any of these speed or style uh, things. I don't use those. Um, so now typically, if I have the core chart already, I'll I'll deselect this, download core chart. But if I don't have the core chart, I'll just leave that. That way, it'll pull in the chords and the lyrics. And I'm going to do it in the key of F. That's that's. I'm going to just go with its default key. Um, if I need to change that later, I can do that. And then I hit accept. And now, ba -ba -da -ba -da, it's there. Now I can put it in where it belongs, which is right. Oops, which is right after. Here's my heart. All right. Do the same thing for Let It Rain. Come back, create new song. Let it. Oops. Let it rain. And um, I'm pretty sure this is the right one, but I might not be sure. So what, what I want to do is I want to go over to, um, to Song Select. And if you don't have a login for this, let me know. And I can actually, you can probably still see it anyway, even if you don't have a login. Um, but I'll go in here and, and type it in, let it. That's really weird. Let it rain, and so this Michael Farron is the is the one that it was telling me. That was that first one up there. Let it rain, let it what? Open the floodgates of heaven. Interesting. And I used to sing this would you part, so we'll we'll make that edit later on. But okay, so this is the right song. Um, so I go back into song select. Oops, let it rain. Now I can select this. But I also want to, this also helps me say, okay, in here I can tell this is 2001 when this was written. And this will probably also, if I go to the lead, the lead um, tab, it'll probably tell me what tempo it's in. Loading. Loading, there we go. Tempo, so quarter note is 64. So now I also have it's 4 4. It's 64 uh, beats per minute, and it was written in 2001, so I'll go ahead and put that back into this. So it's a 2001, so it's in that range here. Um, and I'm going to call this song a Tier 3 song, I think. Actually, I'm going to call it a Tier 2, because even though people know it, Probably we haven't done it for over three years. So, because it wasn't in planning center, we've been using planning center this whole time. Um, so, the beats per minute, 64, the meter is 44. That's helpful because sometimes you'll go in and say, hey, you know, well, the, the, the beats per minute is really important because that will allow you to use the metronome in, um, um, in song, uh, in music stand or use your own metronome, but that, that at least get, gives you that information. It attaches that information to the song itself. Um, so we'll go ahead and just let it accept the defaults, and I'll click OK, or accept, and then there it is, and I'll put that in um, after I used a... Okay, so there we have our songs, the opener, the four songs, there's already something happening for the offering, so I'm even hanging there, and then the, re the response song is there. And you notice that all of the, um, all of the, uh, this, sometimes it carries over information from previous services. Um, it has the, the the metronome, the beats per minute uh, of each of the songs, except for the hymn, <clears throat> and that is how you do it. So it's pretty straightforward. You can go back here to see. The regular piece and that's it.